Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 67 of Screw the Commute podcast. Today's episode is totally self-serving. No, not true. It's how to refer me and others for money. It's kind of a spinoff on affiliate marketing, but notice I said how to refer me. I want you to refer me so that I can send you big checks. And the reason I want you to refer me is so I make money, you make money, I know that your customers are going to be taken care of because I've got a 41, 42-year history of taking care of customers in a great way, and uh, everybody wins. So that's what this episode's about. Now, last episode of 66 was Ken Keyes. He's a behavioral assessment expert, and, and he totally believes in procrastination. How do you like that? Do you believe that? Well, check out what he has to say about it in episode 66. But right now, you want to stick in because I want to send you big checks. All right. Now, our podcast app is available in the App Store. You want to get that so it'll do all kinds of cool stuff. And we have instructions on how to use it if you can't uh, figure it out or if you're new to this over at ScrewTheCommute.com. All right, our sponsor today is the Screw the Commute private Facebook group where you can interact with me my staff, and with other great entrepreneurs and like-minded people. And it's a place where my staff and I put in training and business tips several times a week. And you can ask questions and get feedback on things that you are doing. All right, I'll tell you more about that later, but you can check it out at screwthecommute.com slash Facebook, screwthecommute.com slash Facebook. And of course, we'll have it in the show notes for episode 67. This is episode 67. All right, let's get to the main event. Well, here's the first thing. And if you can't write it down, it will be in the show notes. There are two handouts available that recap what I'm talking about today. And you can get them at screwthecommute.com slash affiliate intro. Screwthecommute.com slash affiliate intro. Make sure you download those two handouts when you get a chance if you really want to maximize the money you make from referring people. All right, in today's episode, I'm going to tell you the kind of money you can make by referring me and my services, and the same techniques can be used to refer others. But first, I want to remind you that if you like the idea of making money by referring others, and it's called affiliate marketing, you can also go back and listen to episode 52 which is all about affiliate marketing, the how to do it and the generalities of it. This episode's about the kind of money you can make uh, from referring me. And it's kind of typical of many people that you would refer. But some of the things I have are way, way bigger than most people would have. So you can make a lot more money. Now, not only will I be telling you about the commissions I pay, later I'm going to tell you some of the methods you can use. And some of them don't even require a website uh, to refer me and others to get your commissions. Now, just to be clear, there are two sides to affiliate marketing. In one way, you promote other people's products and services, and they pay you a commission. The other way is that other people promote your products and services, and you pay them a commission. Now, we are going to talk about the first way where you promote other people's stuff. And I hope you sell all my stuff by the tons. <laughs> and you don't have to invest in any tracking software or really invest in anything if you don't want to. Heck, you don't even have to have a computer. But having one opens up more possibilities for you to earn money by referring others. All right. First, I'm going to tell you about the kinds of money you can make referring me. And so I don't seem too selfish. <laughs> These percentages and rates would be very common in the online industry. Some of the larger amounts I tell you about may not be readily available when dealing with your average company. But you'll be amazed at some of the large commissions you can make for simple referrals. 
Now, one thing I, I need to warn you about, you must be extremely careful in who you refer and what products you refer. If you refer someone or some products that's terrible, no one will ever trust you again. By only suggesting quality people, products, and services, others will trust you, and you can refer many things to them over time, which means a lot more money for you. Okay, let's get going. We'll start with l the lower-end digital products. I pay a 50% commission on digital products, and examples would be PDF eBooks, online courses, membership sites, things like that. Heck, we'll throw in live seminar seats too. And yes, I know they aren't technically digital, but at most seminars, it doesn't cost much to, uh, of anything to put another seat in a meeting room. Now let's look at some of the numbers here. My PDF eBooks start at $17. 50% of that is $8.50. All right, nothing much to write home about, right? Well, I can tell you a lot of those $8.50 add up. All right, but let's start climbing the ladder here a little bit. A $27 ebook means you climbed up to a $13.50 commission. Whoa, you're getting rich now, right? <laughs> All right, a $47 ebook gets you $23.50. And we even have a $97 ebook, or several of them, and online courses, which gets you $48.50 each. And I have other online courses like copywriting901.com, which retails for $297, and your share is $148.50. And I also have another one that's uh, brutalselfdefense.com. That's $497 and pays you $248.50. Not too shabby, right? Okay, let's jump into another category of products. Physical products like CDs, DVDs, and printed books, and anything that takes an enormous amount of labor. Now, I don't sell too many CDs anymore, so there's not much to talk about here. But, but anyway, the commission is only $5.80. And I've got a single DVD that sells for $147, and the commission is $29.40. Now, my Wake em Up Video Professional Speaking System has all kinds of CDs, DVDs, books, workbooks, the whole bit. Sells from anywhere from $697 to $997, and I throw in consultations with that, so there's a lot of labor involved. Makes a commission anywhere from $139.40 to $199.40. All right, now we can start getting into bigger money. My Internet Marketing Mentor Program has an entry fee currently up to $79.95, $7,995, which makes your commission up to $1,599. Now, the reason I say up to is because occasionally I do discount. It's just not very often on that program. I ha also have a professional speaking intensive mentor course, which... It's got three different levels that go up to $13,800, and this would pay up to $2,760 in commissions, and now we're talking about some real money, don't you think? Now, this might sound like pie in the sky, but just, just think about it for a minute. Someone wants to be a professional speaker where they can make several thousand dollars per speech, and way more than that if they learn to sell at the back of the room. Well, there's a lot to learn to make this happen. So they invest in their education from someone who has been there and done that, some like 3,000 times, I might add. And you can make up to $2,760 simply for keeping your eyes peeled for people you think would be great at pro speaking. Now, let me throw a curveball now before I tell you about referring me for speaking engagements and, and referring my internet marketing school. See, I have a side business selling personal protection dogs. A solidly trained personal and family protection dog starts at $20,000. And most people recoil and say, well, that can't possibly be true. Who would pay $20,000 for a dog? Well, let me explain why these dogs cost so much. And, and by the way, we have them going up to $60,000. And no, we don't sell many of those, but 
some people have lots of requirements for the dog, like being able to comfortably fly in a helicopter and, you know, crazy things like that. Most of them we sell are family protection dogs at $20,000. And first, this type of dog has to have a very specific temperament as opposed to a police dog. See, family protection dogs frequently have to put up with little kids pulling their ears and their fur, and they, they still must be able to stay and protect you rather than run after a bad guy. You see, police dogs are supposed to run after bad guys and catch them. See, if your family protection dog did that, the bad guy would probably sue you. And once the bad guy was running away, the threat to you is gone, and you can't claim self-defense. Of course, there's other circumstances, like if the guy said he was going to go get his gun or he's abducting a child. Uh, but for the most part, the dog should protect threats against you and not leave you alone. So, the family protection dog must have the temperament of dealing with kids and other pets, but still must be able to be a professional fighter if needed. Now, this is a rare combination, to be okay with kids, but still be able to fight. And... Plus, they must be able to fight, but still not be so wild that they're out of control. See, all this combined means only a small percentage of dogs can fit the bill. You must also be sure that they're sound physically. You don't want to put all this expense and training into a dog that becomes lame in a few years because of some congenital problems. So anyway, I could go on and on about these dogs, but from your standpoint, you can make a 10% commission for referring someone who purchases one. Okay, so that's personal protection dogs. And you can check out the site at protectiondogselite.com, protectiondogselite.com. Now, promote this. All you have to do is keep your eye out for individuals or families who are expressing reservations about their safety. And let me take a little sidebar on commissions. See, on many of my products, I offer a finance option. And this means... I let the person pay for the product over time. And I might add, you will sell a lot more of your products and services if you offer a finance option. When it comes to commissions, you will get your percentage of money that is actually collected. So for instance, just to use round numbers, let's say someone bought an online course for $500 and put $100 down, and they agreed to four more payments of $100. Well, you get a 50% commission in the first month of 50 bucks, and four more $50 commissions over the next four months for a total of $250. This is very common and fair. Even though you have to wait longer for your commissions, you will make more in the long run when finance options are offered because more people will buy. And I'd sure rather have $250 spread out over five months than get nothing because the buyer couldn't afford $500 all at once. Now let's talk about my school and even bigger money. And the school's address is imtcva.org. imtcva.org. That stands for Internet Marketing Training Center of Virginia. It's an asynchronous distance learning school. Asynchronous means you can do your classes anytime. You don't have to log in a specific time. Distance learning, of course, means you can be anywhere in the world where you can get an internet connection and still go to the school. I started the school because I was tired of all the scammers in the internet world, and I wanted to create something totally legitimate that could be proven legitimate. I mean, it took me three years to get the license. I had to go through background checks and financial checks and bonding, along with a bunch of other hoops. And Nobody I know of in the internet marketing arena has ever gone through this much scrutiny. So the school was perfect for several types of people, and these are in no particular order. It's perfect for an older person, and, and when I say older, I'm talking anything older than college age. I mean, it could be a millennial who's struggling to find work and wants more ability to write their own ticket, all the way to a 55-year-old or older a person who's been displaced from their job or their job has disappeared. I mean, even retirees are great for this uh, to bring in some side income. It's also perfect for high school kids who are considering whether college makes sense for them or not. Their parents should take heed to this too. There is a ton 
of evidence that colleges and universities are failing most students. And I'm not saying they're giving them failing grades. In fact, they're inflating the grades to make it look like they're doing a better job. I mean, the kids are dumber, but they think they're smarter because of these inflated grading systems. And this is just not me talking either. I mean, I highly suggest you watch the webinar I have at screwthecommute.com slash webinars, or you can just go to screwthecommute.com and, and click on free webinars, where there's a load of evidence by educational industry insiders about how colleges are cheating parents and children and getting rich doing it. We've even had much younger middle school children where the parents want to instill the entrepreneurial spirit at a young age. And one 12-year-old, we had wrote three books. How about that? The school is also great for people with disabilities. I mean, not only can they complete their schoolwork from home, they can legitimately work from home. Many companies are putting out legitimate jobs where the person can work from home because the companies don't want to pay $100 per square foot for lease space for an employee or contractor who could just as easily do the work from home. Hey, if you're supposed to write a blog post, it doesn't really matter if you're in a cubicle at work or if you're sitting at your kitchen table. And we give discounts for people with verified disabilities. And also another group we give discounts to are military personnel and their spouses. This is another group we like to thank for their service. And we recognize some of the things they learned in the service may not readily help them get jobs when they get out of the service. I'm not sure if the job of sonar operator on a submarine is mainstream enough to make it easy to get a job when they get out. And also, military personnel don't make that much money. Having a second income the spouse could provide could really help them out. Now, I doubt if there is a person listening to this who doesn't know at least one person or family in one of these categories. All you have to do is tell them about the school and send them to me or one of our admissions people. If they sign up, you get a big commission. Now, the full school tuition is $19,100, which is very, very low compared to uh, what uh, students are paying nowadays. And we pay a 20% commission. That's $3,820 I could pay you instead of giving it to Facebook or Google by buying ads. And even if we discount for the military or disabled, you still make $3,056. and $3, That's a pretty good chunk of money just for keeping your eyes open for people that might be good candidates for the school. Hey, maybe you have connections to PTAs, that's parent teachers associations, or maybe youth groups at church or homeschooling groups. Just think if you had a constant stream of referrals, and I kept sending you checks for $3,820. What would that mean to you and your family? Okay, so that's the school. Now let's talk about speaking engagements. I've given out hundreds of thousands of dollars in commissions for people having me speak and referring me to speak. If you happen to be a promoter of big events, I've paid as much as $75,000 to one promoter for one event. For the last 17 years or so, I've been exclusively speaking at places where I can sell at the back of the room. Prior to that, I did corporate and association speaking, and my fee when I left that world was $20,000. I really don't relish corporate speaking because you have to be too politically correct, and, and why should I want those jobs when I can make 100000 or more at a public speaking event where I'm surrounded by entrepreneurs? which that's obviously my element. Now, I would take a corporate or association job, and I'll be glad to pay you a commission on those jobs between 10 and 20%. It's 20% goes to you if I don't have to sell the job. In other words, you tell the people they must have me, and they immediately book me. If you just send a lead and I have to sell the job, you get 10%. And unless I have to discount for some reason, you still might make a nice chunk of change anywhere from $2,000 to $4,000. What I really like are the big public events where I can sell at the back of the room. And as far as I know, I've never been outsold at an event 
in the last 17 years, and on many occasions, I sold more than all the other speakers put together. Another thing, I get virtually zero returns because I'm not obnoxious in my sales technique. I don't lie to people from the stage or anywhere else for that matter, and I actually deliver what I promise. You can really make some big commissions if you refer me to one of these events. I must say, though, I have very strict contract details. I've been on stage over 3,000 times, and I know what works and what doesn't. Many times the promoters and meeting planners at these events have maybe done a few events, some maybe 20 or so, but none of them are as experienced as me. And I'm not saying this out of arrogance. It's just that I've done this to high levels of success over many years and made a fortune for me and, and many promoters. And if they just do what I tell them, we'd all make a lot of money and not have any complaints about high-pressure sales tactics. I pay 5% of sales, so if I'm in front of, let's say, 150 to 200 qualified people, and I must say qualified because I've actually spoken at some events and there's homeless people in the audience. And I'm all for supporting homeless people and inspiring them to improve their situation. But my job is to make money for the promoter and my company. And I wouldn't even feel right taking money from someone who doesn't even have the basic needs of life. All right. But anyway, if I'm in front of qualified people who want to either start a business or improve the one they already have, I can't remember ever doing less than a hundred thousand in sales. So let's, let's just say that's the case. Your commission would be $5,000 for just putting me in touch with the promoter of such an event. Now, if there's less people than that, it could be a little less, but still a darn good payday. And if there's more people than that, it could be substantially more for a super great payday. And probably more money than most people have ever made for just making a referral. All right, so how do you promote affiliate products and services? Well, here are ways you can promote my products and services along with other products and services. And, and again, I remind you to listen to episode 52 for even more information on affiliate selling. If you have a website, you can do more things, but I've made a lot of money referring things that didn't even require me to have a website. If you do both website stuff and non-website stuff, you can make the most money. All right, I'm going to start you with having a website. Here are some ways to promote affiliate links. You can put a graphic promoting a product or service on your site with your affiliate link embedded in it. You can do the same thing with a simple text link. Sometimes you write a blog posting and discuss the benefit of the product or service and put your affiliate link right there in the blog posting. Maybe you make a guest blog posting on someone else's site or give them an article to post that includes your shortened affiliate link. You might have a video talking about the product with a link in the video or maybe below the video. Some video players let you embed a link right on top of the video. And I, I should just stop for a second and tell you about why I said shortened affiliate link. Affiliate links are usually humongous and long, so you probably want to use a link shortener service like bit.ly to shorten them before you put them in articles and blog postings and such. It's really not much more complicated than that if you have traffic to your website to make some money promoting affiliate links. Assuming you do and you have been diligent in capturing email addresses, you can broadcast an email to your list and include your affiliate link. And this is, again, where some affiliate links are way too long and they might break in an email, so you can use the link shortening service, again, like bit.ly, to make the link shorter and more manageable. Okay, let's say you don't have a website, or, or maybe you do, and you just want to add some more revenue streams. I've made lots of affiliate commissions by doing a screen capture video about some product or service. And in case you don't know what a screen capture video, it, it doesn't involve showing your face. Basically, the screen capture video captures anything you can display on your screen, and you can narrate over top of it to tell people what's going on on the screen. And I use Camtasia as kind of the gold standard. There's other cheaper versions. The people who watch the video get excited about the product or service you're talking about, and then click on your affiliate link to buy it. 
These videos can go on your website, YouTube, or Vimeo, or Facebook, Twitter, or anywhere you can put videos. When people click on the link and buy, you get paid. Now, you don't have to do videos. You could just write things about the affiliate product or service and put in your affiliate link in a social media post. Now, for several of the things I have, you don't even have to make a video or anything. All you have to do is tell people about my products and services. The speaking engagements won't involve a link. My school doesn't require anything but telling me who you referred. The same thing with protection dogs. Just tell me in advance who you talk to, and if they purchase, you get a commission. So you got lots of ways to promote things. When you, when you sign up for someone's affiliate program, you will get a link that's unique to you. If someone clicks on that link and buys something, you get a commission. What I want you to know about that link is that it's usually a general link, maybe taking you to someone's complete catalog of products. Now, every good affiliate program will have a way for you to promote a specific product. And I can tell you from 25 years of experience selling online, you will sell way more by driving people to a specific product than by sending them to a bunch of products. I teach my students specific sales and general doesn't. Now, the second handout I have for you at screwthecommute.com slash affiliate intro shows you how to do that, send people to a specific product in my system. And, of course, that's going to be in the show notes, screwthecommute.com slash affiliate intro for your handout. So how do you sign up for an affiliate program? Well, I have a very standard way, and you can try it out with no obligation, at Antion.com, A-N-T-I-O-N.com, just click Affiliates in the navigation links and you'll see the sign-up form. If you fill it out, you'll get an email back with your basic affiliate link. Then refer to the handout to customize the link for specific products of mine. Now, if you want to promote the big ticket items like my school, my speaking engagements, and protection dogs, you don't have to do anything but give me the name of who you referred me to and if they buy, you will get the commission. So that's kind of going to be it for this episode. And I also encourage you to go back and listen to episode 52 for even more details on affiliate marketing. And I, I really hope you put your antenna up and look for people who would be a good fit for my school. I'd love to send you nice big checks on a regular basis. So get busy. Download your handouts at screwthecommute.com slash affiliate intro. Sign up at Antion.com and send me those customers and I'll send you the checks. All right, you can also join the private Facebook group at screwthecommute.com slash Facebook. And on the next episode, 68, Brian Kaplovitz will be here. He's the owner of Speaker Match. He puts together emerging, emerging speakers and meeting planners. So don't miss episode 68, but go out and refer me. Subscribe and review at iTunes. If you're new to podcasts, we'll give you instructions on do it at screwthecommute.com. And I'll catch you on the next episode.